Hello and welcome to Temple Baptist Church here in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. I believe we are starting a new year, 2021, and I am praying that it is a lot better for not only you, but everybody than 2020 was. But with that in mind, let's just get right into the scripture today. Let's get right into our Bible story, uh, our Bible account uh, I'm just going to mention Daniel chapter 3, verses 12 through 18. And I, I'm probably not even going to read any of those, but I just want you to know what we're, we're talking about here. We're talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego being thrown into the fiery furnace. And, uh, uh, you know, you know, if we are thrown into, they, they, they tell King Nebuchadnezzar in verse 17, if we're thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and He will deliver us from your master's hand. So, you know, it's the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego being uh, delivered from the fiery furnace. And maybe to understand a little bit today, uh, to help us understand a little bit more about the furnace that is described here in Daniel's chapter 3, and maybe help us to grasp maybe more of the miracle that took place. You know, it's likely that this furnace was used as a smelting pot to exact, extract metal from ore. And if it was, you know, the ore would be dropped into the top opening of the furnace. And that's more than likely, they say, where Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown in. And uh, an opening in the side of the furnace at ground level, and that's where the fire was stroked or fuel was added or wood or whatever they were uh, using to heat it with. And uh, it may even be prob probable that Nebuchadnezzar uh, watched from this location. Now, when they say the, the, the furnace was heated seven times hotter than it had been before, this may have just been a uh, saying for having it heated as hot as possible. Now, some uh, guess this to be up to 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. It's pretty hot. And they say this would explain why the soldiers who threw the three men in the furnace would have been killed instantly. Yes, it would. You got that uh, hot of a fire and people coming up there dropping three people into there. Uh, the miracle is not that these men were burnt by fire. The miracle is that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not touched at all. Not only was there three in the furnace, but King Nebuchadnezzar said, did we not throw three in? Why is it do I see four? And the fourth man like the Son of Man. But a wildfire in Spain uh, scorched nearly 50,000 acres of woodland. However, in the middle of the de devastation, a group of nearly 1,000 bright green cypress trees remained standing. Why did they do that? The tree's ability to retain water had allowed them to slay, safely endure the fire. Now, I'm going to just tell you that just as a bit of information. You know, during King Nebuchadnezzar here in the reign in Babylon, you know, these friends had uh, uh, the flame of the king's wrath, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to worship a statue that he'd created and told them yeah, they were going to be thrown into the, the flaming fire. And they, they said, the God we serve is able to deliver us. This infuriated him, and so he had the, the furnace hit hotter than it had ever been before, seven times hotter than it had ever been before. And the, the soldiers who carried out the king's order, uh, cast, a, cast them in there, was burned up. Yet, you know, the onlookers watched and Nebuchadnezzar watched and uh, uh, walking around inside unbound and unharmed. And like I said, there was someone else in the furnace, wasn't there? You remember the story? You remember the account in Daniel? Uh, a fourth man, they said, who looked like a son of God. And most people believe that this was a pre-incarnation appearance of Jesus. Now, with that in mind, Jesus is with us when we face trials and tribulation. In the moment when we are urged to give in to pressure, we don't have to be afraid. You know, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego could have bowed down just like the king had ordered them to. They could have done that. They could have given the pressure. And we, we, you know, 
We may not always know how or when God is going to help us. We may not know that, but we know that He is with us. He, he gives us strength to stay faithful to Him, even though the fires, through every fire that we endure. You know, if we, if we want to get right down to it, if we've got what it takes to, you know, the, those green cypress trees that had the ability to retain water to allow them to safely endure the fire, if we do what Jesus tells us to do, follow his examples, we'll be able to withstand the fires and the trials that come before us. Only by trusting in Him will we be able to do that. And I pray that you trust Him with all your heart, that you have truly accepted Him. And uh, you know, even though things may look bad as they have in the, uh, the year, the, the year that we've just gone through, maybe even going to be that way in the year we're going into, but God is still in the fire with us. May God bless you uh, is our prayer.